Hey everybody, welcome back to Ripping for Ripkins. It's Corey, and today I'm going to do a retail review of, I got $60 worth of Allen & Ginter, the $20 blaster, two value packs, and four of the, well these, I don't know, these are more value packs than this is the value pack. So let's call that fat pack, we'll call that value pack, and call it blaster. So what I'm going to do is open up each one and see what you can expect from this product and see if you want to go out and pick you up some. I have yet to open any of the Allen and Ginter this year. I did open a bunch last year and wasn't planning on doing it this year, but I will take what Walmart gives me. These value packs right here come with the gold mini parallels so we will take a look at those i'm going to go ahead and open up both packs so that i can keep the stacks separated and see where we get our best value and you can let me know in the comments down below which one of these you think is the best value for allen and ginter so we'll get those out leave those gold parallels over there and we will get started I'm not sure why those are upside down all right so these are the value pack you get in each one you get three packs and you get this gold mini parallels so we're gonna go ahead and take a first look for me at least at this product, Locaine, Sano, Brendan McKay, rookie card, Where Monsters Live, The Closet, Mining Deep, Mining Deep, Digging Deep, and Yastrzemski. So I'm gonna cake, leave me three different piles and Keep them separated as I go so I can keep up with. There's the Vladdy Daddy, CJ Crone, the Doc Gooden, and we got the mini of Portuguese Man of War. Long Ball Lore, uh, Cecil Fielder, and Luis Gonzalez. I haven't seen a whole lot of this open yet. I haven't watched it. I find it depressing when I'm not actually able to find product. But there's a nice Mike Trout. Our first non-baseball player is Stephen Teft, owner of uh, Groton, Connecticut. Went to submarine school in Groton, Connecticut. Phil Rizzuto and the late Al Kaline, the great Detroit Tiger, down on the farm, the dog, and George Springer. So, so far, no, uh, what I consider hits. I don't know what the short print is this year. I hadn't looked yet, so I'll have to check those out. Mike Schmidt, and this is like, General manager? All right. No, he's the one that owns some kind of, yeah. High school coach, licensed attorney, pitching ninja, social media accounts. So there's another non-baseball player, Abraham Toro. There is the Brendan McKay rookie mini. And it is Allen and Ginter back forgot to check the backs of these so that's the first Allen and Ginter back that is your normal your base mini and that's your Allen and Ginter mini for those that aren't familiar Sandy Alomar Jr. who now is a coach and Aaron Nola who is having a terrific season this year and this one's not ripping well The 
the noise you're hearing in the background is my cat going absolutely crazy. Tim Anderson, another great season for him. Mauricio Dubon, Matt Olson, and the Earl Weaver, the great Earl Weaver. Allen and Ginter back, many. Earl Weaver. There's the Joe Torrey Field Generals and the Todd Helton. Which Helton, I wonder if he's going to get any Hall of Fame consideration now that Walker's in. All right, last one, Tim Lincecum. Shout out to Frank the Tank. Dallas Keuchel. And this is a Crack the Code. Be the first to crack the code. Something you got to log in, but uh, I will check that out. Joe Morgan. Alan and Ginter back. Debut to remember insert. Johnny Cueto. And Yohan Mankata. So that is your value pack. And we will now open up these gold border minis. I say I'm going to open it. I'm going to try to open it. There we go. So the first pack, Marcelo Zuna, Roberto Clemente, Schwarber, McNeil, and Kikuchi. <coughs> mm, excuse me. I think I sneeze every time I make a video nowadays. I think it's like a release. And the last pack of the minis. Kim Vado, Corey Seeger, Nicholas Castellanos, and CJ Crone again. And these are all regular backs, as they are already a parallel. So you definitely get stocked up on your minis in the value pack. Push those to the side, and we will now open the four value packs. 14 cards. Oh, I'm not doing that. Try to get these out of here without damaging the corners. These are pretty nice cards, good card stock, so shouldn't mess them up too bad. I got a rookie card coming up. It is the Hunter Harvey. There's the Manny Machado. First PC guy for me out of this set. There's the Yadi Molina. Ramon Laureano. There's the Gary Carter. And we have two bugging out. The Thorn Bug. And... The Ocean Sunfish, Orlando Cepeda, the Shanghai Tower, so that is a different insert set, Elvis Andrews, Bregman, and there's Trey Mancini, so we have two PC guys, Mancini of course didn't play this year, so he really didn't have that many cards come out. But I will stack these up. And we'll get a comparison as to how many cards and the value. Once we get to the end of this video, I'll pull them back out and take a look and see how, how they compare. If you're interested in seeing what the comparison is, there's a Mike Messina. So my third PC guy, Trevor Bauer, Robin Yount. Another Todd Helton, Juan Marichal. Is set. Oh, I got a hit. Jeff Passan. I got the Jeff Passan subject used memorabilia baseball writer. Of course, for ESPN. Interesting. So, did get a hit out of there. 
And then we got the Julian Edwards from Bird Box. Did not see Bird Box. And a first black border Jack Flaherty mini. And then Tony La Russa. Looks like we get this. I guess this is a, something to do with the buildings. I guess the tallest buildings. Reach for the sky insert. There's the big hurt. Frank Thomas. Some. Nick Thune. No idea. And A Rod. A Rod is more popular now for dating J Lo than he is for being a baseball player. Recently tried to purchase the Mets, and it doesn't look like that's going to happen. At least right now. And I lost my minis. I'll bring them back up to the top. Let's see what we got here. We got. Paul Goldschmidt mini base and we got the the bird box girl again but it looks like in a black border Jose Abreu Xander Bogarts and Luis Robert rookie card first one of those I'll have to pull that out got a nice little Luis Robert and I got another relic card Colton Wong, game used. Oh, that's another card on the back. There we go. So two relic cards. Cepeda, and then we got the Wilshire Grand Center, Reach for the Sky, Mike Mostakis, and Brooks Robinson who I also keep. I don't PC Brooks Robinson, but I definitely keep his cards when I when I get them. Same with Jim Palmer, Eddie Murray, all the Oriole greats. So last pack, I wonder if we'll get us, I mean, that's two relics in three packs. Let's get these minis out of here so I don't drop them. Cal Ripken Jr., mini, sweet, and a Mark Grace. Shout out to Jason Easterling, who PCs Mark Grace. That's a nice, nice find there. Nick Ahmed, Luis Arias, Edmund, Guriel, Trey Turner. What in the world are we? Ah, oh, Long Bong Lore. And this is another... Oh, this is a uh, Aaron Judge. Thought it was A Rod for a second. Phil Necro. The Digging Deep Turquoise. And there's one I actually hope to get. Ken Jong from The Hangover. He's actually a Duke University graduate and big time Duke fan. And he's like local to North Carolina here. Licensed physician gave up his day job to career in comedy. Knocked up, and The Hangover, of course, is what he's most famous for. But he is a very smart individual. Mike fulton who is not in the majors right now because he had a terrible season. But that is the value. We'll call those fat packs. The fat packs, and the fat packs seem to be pretty nice. Like I said, I got two relics out of there. Luis Robert, rookie, in the Ripken Mini. So I'm going to push that aside. But so far, it's a no-doubter. Blaster Box is going to have to come with something here because those fat packs delivered. So Blaster Box, and then we'll be done with our 2020 Allen & Ginter. I'm going to show you the box. Seven packs plus one extra pack. So eight packs. So we'll get, what, 48 cards out of here. And for the value, we're going to have to see if we find an autograph or relic card. I'll 
leave this up here on the screen and we will rip through our seven packs plus our one extra pack. I'm going to say it like that now. Uh, I thought that Justine Siegel, first female coach at base. Mo Vaughn, there's a Nick Cassianos mini. Salvador Perez and Aldruton Simmons. How do you say his last name, first name? Oh, wrong guy. I always say Aldruton, but maybe Aldruton. One of you Angels fans may know. Steve Carlton on the back. Got Mercado on his Wagner. Nelly Cruz, the pool holes mini. The Willie Mays long ball lore and the Steve Carlton. So no hits yet in the blaster, but it's still early. Alan and Ginter is fun because there's so many different insert sets to put together. I know a lot of people aren't fans of the non-baseball stuff, but we got the Orlando Sapita Black Border Mini. Those are like the SPs out of there. Rod Carew. Kenny Lofton made it. That's nice. Louis Tiant debut to remember. And Kim Byung Byung Young. Joey Vado's on the back. Let's see what our mini is. Mini is gonna be another black border. Is it Nate or Brandon? It is Brandon. Brandon Lau had a pretty good season this year. Black border, nice. Andres Munoz, Zach Gallen, rookie card. He's having a nice season. There's a chipper. Fourth PC guy. And Lakata Center. There's Joey Votto. Where is this located? In Russia. So we will put these all in one stack. As my sorting has become a little much on this desk. So that is Brandon Lau again. Andrew Jones made it. Nice. Octopus. Behemoth Beneath insert. And there is the Digging Deep for Lapis. Whatever that is. And Corey Seeger. I don't know if anybody else has trouble like I do with these mini cards. I just don't know what to do with them. I have to find something to put them in. There's a Nolan Ryan on the back. Shout out to J-Bob and Sons. PC's Nolan Ryan. There's the Lou Brock, who recently passed away. Rest in peace, Lou Brock. His Allen and Ginter card. Matthew Boyd. Jim Tomei. Looks like some kind of... Skateboarder. Interesting. Down the farm. Cornstalks. Wow. And there is the Nolan Ryan. Always a favorite card in any set. Nolan Ryan. Two packs left. And let's see if the blaster delivers something. Tanaka. AJ Puck rookie. Ryan Howard. Eat fresh. And by watches The Office, they remember the big piece, Ryan Howard. And Alan and Ginter back of Mike Doc Emmerich. Benito Santiago, Field General, and Jose, Jose Barrios. Last pack. And Alan and Ginter. I don't know if it's going to be the last one because if I find them on the shelf, I'm still going to open them and people don't seem to. Try to flip Allen and Ginter. So the mini is going to be Citadels and Safe Holds. Interesting, another insert. Andy Cohen. Is it Andy Cohen? Yeah. I think my wife watches. He's on something. Matt Olson, Zach Grinke, Mike Piazza, Long Ball Lore, and Ozzy Albies. So that does it for the break. Let's see. 
when it comes down to your stacks, I'm not even going to show the, the value pack, but your stacks are pretty much the same in your blaster if you get four of the $5 value packs. But I guess the kicker in the value packs was the two relic cards we pulled. So that's the hits. Got two relics out of it. Not a bad product, not a bad start for me for Allen and Genter. Like I said, pull a pull a Ripken. Nice mini. That's will go in my collection. So thank you guys for watching. Till next time. Later.